In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're taking our second look at using moving bars across the screen and having them move in and expose letters and then disappear. We're following a format that was used in an early 1970s American television show called The Streets of San Francisco. And so we've started this in another tutorial. We'll finish it in this one. We'd like to give you a look again at the model that we're following and then we'll get right into the steps. So we already have on track 5, 6, and 7 our three color boards. They're all white. Now if I move to the very beginning of the clip and play it, you see they come in and then at the same size and then they slowly get bigger according to the word that they're going to hide and now we need to make them disappear. So we're going to continue to work with our keyframes on each of them. I'll double click on the first top one called the on the left side. And I notice when I'm in here at 12 frames, uh, they're all the size I want them to be. I'm going to hold that position for a while. So let's go out to perhaps, oh, maybe uh, 20, 21, 22 frames. Let's go 22 and I'll right click and do duplicate previous keyframe and I'll do that again on the scale value we will duplicate that and so then I'm going to move perhaps uh, let me go one second and 11 frames and now we're going to change the value of the width of this so I'm going to click a scale keyframe and add one and then what I'm going to do is turn off maintain aspect ratio in the scale end of things and then we'll take an and we'll move it and move it to the right now I still have a scale left if I look very carefully the width is 0 0.13 I'll just zero that out and it will be virtually invisible at that point I'll click on OK. Now I need to remember the timing here. It's 1.10 uh, and I held it at to 22 frames. So I'll do OK. And let's see what this does. OK, now we want to emulate that in the other two. We'll copy those values. We'll keyframe this one at 22. We'll copy the keyframes, right clip, duplicate previous, the both values, then we go out to 22 or 1.10, and then we'll right click and add a scale keyframe. Once again, we make sure oh, we have maintained aspect ratio checked. We don't want that. Turn it off, and then we'll drag to the right. We'll set the value all the way down to zero click on OK. I'll do that for the third one and then get back to the tutorial. And so now if we look at the behavior of our color boards and we play the clip, the boxes come in, stretch, and then they disappear. What we'd like to do now is put some words behind each of these. And we notice we have this time frame here where they're all on the screen at their maximum width. And that's when we'd want the words to appear. So we're going to go up to the Timeline above this, I have three, the streets and of, timeline two, three, and four. And we'll go to our title room, bring in a title, drop it down on track two. And now we'll go into the title designer by double clicking on that title. I have to remember that when I tilted these color boards, I tilted them by a negative point one three and so I'll go into the title first of all go into the properties go to rotation and I'll type in a minus point one three and it should be exactly what I want now we're going to make it a little bit smaller and notice if we put it here it will be behind the color board so one thing you may want to do at this point is go back and temporarily change the opacity of the color board. 
I'm going to click on uh, I'm going to double click on this for now and make it a different color we'll make it red click on OK so this is another way to be able to see what's going on here so I'm going to take this and turn it to the word the and we will mess with the fonts and adjust those for a moment and get back so when I play what I've done so far, we'll, we'll watch the boxes come in and then it discloses the text. We'll, go, we'll change the letter back to white before we're done. What I want to do now is take text on timeline number two and right click and copy it or control C. Move to number three, move to the beginning of that and do a control V to paste. And then we'll do the same thing on track number four, another control V. And now we have three of these. Now again, I want to lock number one and two and click on the one here. And I'll drag it down and we'll change it to streets. Unlock it. Unlock the third one, which happens to be also on top in the first box and drag it down and we'll edit this to say the word of. And then we'll change all the color back to white as well. So I'll do that and then get back to you on the video. So we've edited the text in each of these. And now let's back up to the very beginning and see if we get the kind of effect we're looking for. Now we could probably shorten these to make them fit, but you, we do have that effect where we have the boxes and then they slowly move to the right and disclose the content beneath of the text that's on the higher track. We hope this has been helpful for you as you grow your skills as an editor in CyberLink PowerDirector.